Hey everyone, welcome you all. In this video, we are going to see the difference between monostable multivibrator and a stable multivibrator. So, if you are new to the channel, please guys hit the subscribe button, and if you found the content useful, then please guys hit the like button. Okay, so the first difference is it is having only one stable state. So, as the name suggests itself, it has got only one stable state, and that is low state. So that's why the name monostable there and in case of a stable multi vibrator it has got no stable state and that's why the name a stable so it has got no stable state so it is not stable in high as well as it is not stable in low so that's the first one and then moving to the second a triggering pulse is required to change the state here so in case of monostable multi vibrator we uh, we should use a triggering pulse to change the output of the multi vibrator so if this is suppose it is in the stable state that is low state and if you want to go to the higher state or unstable state for the multi vibrator then that is this one okay so we need to apply a trigger at this point so we need to apply a trigger here so that it will move into the unstable state here so this is the time period t and this is the high state or unstable state okay so that time constant depends on the multiplication of r and c here that is resistance and capacitance value used at the collector of the transistors there okay so that's the uh, concept here so why should you uh, go for a trigger there and in case of a stable multi vibrator as it has got no stable states its output will be continuously changing like this so it is fixed itself so for time period it will be high for time period t it will be low so you apply whether you apply a trigger here or trigger here it will not care it will automatically change the output there okay so for some time the transistor q1 will be active for some other time transistor q2 will be active so it has a uh, changing continuously its output so there is no need for trigger there but in case of monostable we require a one trigger so that's the second difference now coming to the frequency here the frequency for monostable multi vibrator is given by f equal to 1 divided by 1.1 rc that is the frequency in case of monostable multi vibrator so coming to the a stable it will be 1.45 divided by ra plus 2rb into c so it is somewhat different from that of the monostable there then the frequency output depends on frequency of triggering pulse applied to it but in case of a stable multi vibrator the output frequency is decided by ra rb and c there so by resistors and capacitors basically we can say so in case of the monostable multi vibrator the frequency that is the output frequency is uh, decided by the triggering pulse which is applied here but in case of a stable it is decided by these components that is resistors and components in uh, capacitors in the circuit then the quasi stable states in this in case of monostable multi vibrators is one so that is uh, the un uh, unexpected or the uh, unstable state we can say but in case of a stable multi vibrator there it is two because uh, we, it is it has got no stable state so it is also the low is also unstable here and high is also unstable okay so coming to the application part here so monostable multi vibrator can be used in uh, uh, timer circuit that is a uh, triple five ic which is a uh, very famous uh, timer there so it is also using the monostable multi vibrator in it and in case of a stable multi vibrator it is used to uh, generate some waveforms that is rectangular square wave and ramp generator so rectangular means as i have shown this is the rectangular rectangular pulse and then square wave pulse and a ramp generator means a continuously increasing wave so we can say like this a continuously increasing wave that is ramp and uh, okay so coming to the last difference here so low is the general stable state for in uh, for the monostable multi vibrator and it has got no stable state so it, there is no question of stable state in case of a stable multi vibrator right so uh, it just means that so this is the low here so this is the general stable state in case of the monostable multi vibrator so these are all the differences which we can figure out from these monostable and unstable multi vibrators and i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and like the video 
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग